Hey guys, welcome to my September 2022 monthly reset video. In today's video, I will be sharing with you all my plans for the month of September. I will go through the goals that I set back in August and how I did in those goals. Then I'll write some goals for September, then walk you through those goals, and then I will finally end the video by going through my budget for the month of September. I have decided not to include uh, the budget recap for the month of August because it's not really a true reflection of how much I spent across the month because I'm filming this video earlier than usual so I figured you know what I would do that video separately and moving forward it's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'll be filming that video separately where I cover the budget recap and I'll bind that together with sinking fund update with my net worth update and all of that good jazz so in today's video we're just going to focus on the goals that i set in august how i did with those then set some new goals for the month of september and then walk you through my budget for the month of september and maybe other miscellaneous items that i would like to include in today's video so my first goal was to save one thousand pounds into my emergency fund i was able to accomplish that invest 500 pounds in the ISA and SIP so the ISA is the individual savings account I was able to do that and the SIP is self-invested personal pension I did that as well then my third goal was to purchase birthday presents for my sister and for my friends I've got two friends who had their birthdays in September sorry in August and I was able to do exactly that and for my sister I still owe her a good birthday present so we shall see how this month progresses then I had other miscellaneous goals that I'd set for myself, um, which uh, included buying my plane ticket for next month's trip, which I have done. I wanted to visit a spa this month. I haven't yet, but I've still got a couple more days before August ends, so maybe I'll do that. Then I also need to start researching my car insurance because my car insurance is due up for renewal next month, and I need to see if there are better deals out there instead of renewing with my current provider. So those are some of the goals that I had. And then in the month of August, I also had my American friends come to visit me in the first week. That was absolutely great. So we took a trip to Dublin and then did a day trip into Belfast which was great so we did Ireland and Northern Ireland in one go which was perfect but it meant I spent a bit more than I had in anticipated but everything within budget because even when I'm spending like a crazy lady I still have it in the back of my mind that yes this is an item that you can afford and can afford to spend on and this you cannot afford uh, probably makes sense for you not to spend it so yeah, so those were my goals for the month of August and I was able to accomplish all of those goals and I'm happy about that. Then now we're going to go to the month of September and I'm just going to quickly write a couple of goals and then I'll talk to you about these goals. <laughs> Okay, so I have written down about six goals that I'm going to share with you in today's video. The first one is to invest £500 into my ISA. Second one is to save £500 into my emergency fund. And then I have put here to budget for a holiday because I am going on a holiday in uh, September. Then I've got budget for mom's birthday. It's my mother's birthday in September, so I need to budget for that. Then, like I said, in my August uh, part portion of this video, I said I wanted to uh, start researching renewal for my car. So I need to renew my car insurance in September. And I need to then, my sixth goal is to spend more time with my friends and my family. So that is my plan. Also in the month of September, I do have my car MOT due. So I need to make sure that I allocate some time to book that in to get my car checked out. So I am looking to do all of this in the month of September. And I ha also have three birthdays in September, two of my friends and my mom. So it's going to be a busy one day. I've got travels as well. And I'll share about my travels when I return. So that is it with respect to the goals that I would like to accomplish in the month of September. 
now I have my trusted laptop here with me and I'm going to start my screen record and share with you my budget for the month of um, September so start recording now okay so on the screen right now you can see my my budget format template I play around with the templates that I have to see which one serves me best I love this format because it allows me to uh, document all of my expenditures whether they're unplanned planned or otherwise so let's get into the budget for September I am expecting to bring in 5700 for the month of September so hopefully fingers crossed I'm able to bring in more than that in in most months I bring in way more than that so I'm not too worried about that then here is just a breakdown of my spending summary so this is where it will populate once I start populating here of how much I've actually brought in it will also populate here for what I am actually spending so if we start off first with my savings so my savings emergency fund rental fund and sinking funds I'm hoping to send about 700 pounds to these three buckets my investments, so my ISA general investments account and my pe uh, uh, self invested personal pension, I'm expecting to send £600 to that. Then my bills, these are my normal bills that I pay for to keep a roof over my head and what have you. So with these ones, uh, I've got you know mortgages, my utility bills, insurance, uh, my uh, streaming services and stuff like that. All of that should come up to one thousand six hundred and forty-seven pounds and um, zero pence. <laughs> Sorry, um, yeah. So that all that should come up to a, a one thousand six hundred and forty-seven um, pounds. Then if we move over to tithe and giving, because I am a Christian and I believe in giving and tithing, so I do 10% of what I bring in, so what I budget to bring in. So here I'm expecting uh, 520 as the 10% that I give and tithe. My rental property, my first rental property has got this gone got its own bills so I'm expecting to spend 566 on that my second rental again I'm expecting to spend uh, 500 pounds even then my variable expenses so these things are uh, these are things like my groceries my home maintenance beauty and all of that jazz so I'm expecting to uh, spend on myself essentially around 615 pounds so we shall see if I'm actually able to spend that or I send it most of this to my savings I prefer to send to my savings but we shall see then if we go to the right hand side so I've got a small uh, business obviously I have my Etsy I have my blog and what have you so all of that you know comes with its own cost so I'm expecting to spend 52 pounds in business expenses then here these are all unplanned expenses but I've put this to here because normally I'll just track them in my sinking funds tracker but I'm putting them here as well because the money will come into my main account and then I'll spend it and again this template allows me to see exactly what I am spending so I've got my car MOT and insurance due in September so I'm gonna be moving about 500 pounds from my car sinking funds to pay for both of these so as you can see this comes to zero left over I practice a zero based budget which means my income minus my expenses equates to zero this does not mean that my account is left in a zero balance but it just means that I allocate my money towards all of the uh, bills uh, my savings investments and what have you I always have a buffer in my account this is something that I've been practicing for years and I prefer to keep it that way I don't like having a zero in my account because that just that just raises my blood pressure to be honest so this is what I wanted to share with respect to my September 2022 monthly reset like I said I've changed the format up a little bit shared my goals from August and you know I showed you how I did shared and done my goals for September of what I am planning to happen in September and also shared with you my budget I'm reading a couple of books at the moment my most recent one that I'm reading I'm looking at it now it's money by Tony Robbins 
master the game i have actually enjoyed reading this but it's such a huge book it's like a bible so i'm actually taking my sweet time with this one and i've got malibu rising which i feel like it's a holiday read so i'm going to be reading it on the plane and then i've got a couple other um audibles that i'm listening to at the same time i think i'm listening to about two books on audible i've got two books that i am reading which are physical and i think i'm gonna add one more on kindle because i would like to spice my life up like that so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and please check out my august monthly reset video where i shared with you uh, my expenditures from july my budget from august uh, and then also the goals that i'd set in july and in august i hope you enjoy this video and i'll see you in my next one bye